So in California, there, there's a law being considered this year, Senate Bill 227 by Senator DeRazzo from Los Angeles. It would give unemployment insurance to illegal aliens, unemployment insurance and benefits to illegal aliens who are in California. They're technically, they're violating federal law and could be deported, and sometimes they are deported. But in California, they're allowed to be here and they would collect these benefits and the cost and the cost to the taxpayers is estimated it could be as high as $2 billion a year if this is implemented. And uh, this affects the state budget because, uh, as you may have heard, in California, the budget deficit, Governor Newsom says, could be as high as $38 billion. And, uh, and the state legislative analyst says it could be $55 billion. So it's another just cost to Californians for, for just living here. And, and already, uh, for this unemployment uh, insurance in California, w during COVID, when it hit, there were a lot of people in prison and elsewhere that cheated the system. And they, they cost the state $32 billion in cheating, and it's still out there. Uh, if you're employed in California, like I am, then you are paying for it every paycheck. It goes into the, uh, into the fund to pay it back because the money was borrowed from the federal government, $32 billion borrowed, and it has to be paid back. And there was a, a recent analysis of this new bill, Senate Bill 227, that, that said the, the cost is $2 billion a year to, for this. The previous cost is more than $900 a year for each of us to pay back the $32 billion that was stolen. So it's, it's all kind of adding up here. And it adds on to another thing that went for the illegal aliens this year, which is free medical care for them, which is going to cost... Four billion. That's that's baked in. That's going to happen. They can't get out of it for this whole deficit. So they're they're giving all these benefits to these people. And, and another threat is they could just come here and cheat the system in another way and say say they're really working, but they're not really working. And they could get the benefits. You get the, if you pay into it a little bit every month for six months, then you can get the benefits to I think it's up to nine months that you you get the benefits uh, for the employment insurance. And again, all of us will, will pay for that. And, and it would just encourage more illegal immigrants to come here to get free stuff. And uh, there's no problem with legal immigrants because they can get their green cards, they pay into the system, get social security card. That's, that's all perfectly fine. And people are fine with legal immigrants. Three of my grandparents were legal immigrants to America around 1905. So they're okay with that. It's just the problem is the illegal ones. And the state just can't afford it. And the question is, what will Governor Newsom do it do about it? I think he'll veto this one because it's just too much. It'll give him. He'll, he'll say, "Ah, oh, well, we we have this deficit, we can't pay for it, so I'm going to veto it," and that will help him in his own political career, which is looking like he's going to wait till 2028 to make a uh, make a run for the presidency. And he likes to veto some of these some of these really bad bills, like earlier this year he vetoed a bill that would have banned children from playing in, in football, in, in American football, tackle football, because uh, people said uh, the kids get hurt. Uh, but he said, let the parents decide that. And you know, there's one case where he believes in educational choice. I wish he did in other areas, like more, more charter schools. But anyway, that's, that's why this whole, this whole thing in California, it kind of boils over. They, they get all this extra money. If this was two years ago, when they had a $100 billion surplus instead of this big deficit, he probably would have signed this bill to give the $2 billion in free unemployment insurance to the illegal aliens. If you haven't checked out CaliforniaInsider.com, we highly recommend you do that now because we're going to have a lot of news and videos there. And on top of what we have there right now, we are building a really big platform to cover what's happening in California. So you can be informed. We're going to have more shows, more videos, from all aspects of life in California. Go to CaliforniaInsider.com and we'll see you there.